Hello everybody and welcome back to Mouse Build Monday, the second edition. Thanks so much to everybody who watched the first one. I was actually pleasantly surprised by how many people ended up watching it. I wasn't expecting it to do quite as well as it did, so thank you very much if you tuned in for that, and I hope that in the future you guys enjoy these videos as much as you seem to with the first one. So first order of business before we get into the mouse build, I'm going to be saving that until the end of most of these videos just because I think I can get through the other stuff pretty quickly. Uh, I want to talk about some of the upcoming videos that are going to be coming out either later this week or sometime next week. So up first, or actually I don't know what order I'm going to upload them in, but the two videos that I'm working on currently, I have one on another concept vehicle that will be out this Friday, so you can stay tuned for that. And then I have another one that's going to be covering four new vehicles that have entered the super test in World of Tanks, and we're going to be taking a look at the history behind them and whether they're real or not. So it's going to be something a little bit different, and I want to see if you guys enjoy it, so stay tuned for that as well. The next order of business is that the second channel, Cone of Arcade, hit 10,000 subscribers either yesterday or Friday, which I'm recording this Sunday, so... And that is absolutely incredible. I am very happy to see that the Sprocket videos over there are doing really well. If you guys haven't checked those out yet, please do. I am having a lot of fun doing them, and I just unveiled a new series that I'm going to be doing where you guys as the viewers can submit in the comments your requirements, and I'm going to be building vehicles to fit the requirements. I've already gotten a really good one, and I'm going to be doing that one next. It just, it's exactly what... I was looking for so it'll kind of give you guys a better example of uh, what I'm looking for for the next one but regardless you can go check out that video I'll put a card up right now and you can submit your requirements and uh, I'll go back and pick them if they're really good so thanks so much for that and uh, let's move on to the mouse build now as I mentioned in last week's video, pretty much the only thing that we're going to be discussing this week is uh, how much funds we got for the mouse and uh, what I'm going to be doing with those funds for now. So in total, the mouse build fund is currently at around $1,500 from all of the plushy sales, which is awesome. I think it should cover the majority of the costs for all of the build, which... I don't think is going to be that much because like I said, I've already gotten a lot of the materials and stuff that I need for it, but stuff does add up. So if things do get a little bit more expensive, I'm going to be having other ways that you guys can support the build. Although I think I can support the rest of it myself through uh, stuff that I earn from the channel. Now all of that is being kept in a separate account specifically for the mouse build. There might be some other money that moves into that account just from stuff from YouTube but I'm going to be keeping that money separate from my own savings accounts and stuff, so you don't have to worry about me spending that on anything else. That pretty much wraps up what we have to talk about with the mouse build for this week. This is going to be a more short episode because I honestly don't have a ton to talk about right now, but um, the next thing that I need to do for the mouse build is, like I was saying last week, I got to get it out, clean it up, see where we're at, Again, I have a pretty good idea of where we're at, but once I get it out and kind of do some measurements again, just to refresh my memory, I'm going to start to draft up some uh, ideas for the suspension and uh, maybe start testing once I get my 3D printer going. So that wraps up the mouse build. Now let's move on to some of your questions from last week's video. I do want to give a quick thanks to everybody that's been submitting ideas for the build. I might not necessarily be using your ideas, but it is nice to see that there is interest there, and some of them may come in handy as we go. So if you do have any continued ideas, just pop them in the comments. You never know, it might at least give me inspiration for something. But for the first comment, we're going to start with one from probably Steven, who says, What's a more or less interesting Cold War topic you'd like to look into? Um, that would probably be the Soviet-Afghan war and the uh, usage of tanks in that war. They weren't used very much, but it is a very interesting conflict to me, and I don't feel like it's been covered enough, and I'm planning to do some stuff covering it right now. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to do that. It is a little iffy with everything going on right now. I don't want to put out a video and then have YouTube not like it. I think it would probably be okay, though, so uh, I might get to work on that relatively soon. I just have to find some more source material for it. The next question we have comes from Lord Nagyek Hawthorne. I hope I said that right. What initially got you into military history and specifically what got you into tanks? That would technically be my friend Kevin, who I went to school with. He was super into World of Tanks and he started telling me about different tanks and stuff. I had always kind of been into history and it sort of was the, the crumb that got me started on the trail, so to speak. 
And uh, once I started playing World of Tanks a little bit, it got me a little bit more interested. And then over time, it just kind of snowballed. So a little bit different probably than, well, I guess it's actually probably a pretty common thing that gets people interested in tanks. But yeah, that's kind of where it started for me. All right, and last but not least, we have a question from Benjamin Duperalt. Duperalt? I hope I said that right. Uh, question for you. If the channel hadn't grown to what it is right now, and hopefully grown even larger, what would I have done? Well, I would have just continued with the job that I had up until a couple weeks ago, which was working as a machinist. Which, it was an enjoyable job. I didn't really dislike it. It just got to the point where I didn't feel like it was as fulfilling as doing YouTube and with the channel doing as well as it was, I have moved into doing this full time. So fingers crossed that works out. But uh, yeah, that's, I would have just basically been doing what I uh, went to school for, which I enjoyed and it was pretty, in, pretty fun to do. I potentially would have gotten my own machine at some point and tried to do it for like a self-employment type, type of thing. I might still, like I was saying in the last video, I might still get a machine and uh, do something with it, but yeah, that's what I would have done. All right, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, sorry if it was a little clunky. Like I said in the last one, or I think I said at least, I'm trying to do this a little bit kind of off the cuff. I'm not trying to script it too much because honestly, I need to practice at that. I'm not very good at it and I need to get better. And also I feel like it's more genuine and it's not so much me just sitting here slapping away at my keyboard and then just reading something to you, which I do enough of with the other videos. It makes sense for those ones, doesn't make so much sense for this one. I'm going to be trying to do at least three questions a week. If uh, I get more questions that I feel like are easily answerable or just a lot of ones and maybe I don't have as much to talk about in the video, then I'll probably do more. But I feel like three is a good balance. It's a nice little way to end the video and everything. If you guys have any feedback, as always, drop it in the comments. I'm trying to kind of morph this series to fit exactly what you guys want it to be while also being able to convey as much information about either my week or about the mouse build as I can. So hopefully next week I will be able to give you some updates on the cleaning of the mouse. It all depends on if we can get it out though. It's kind of rainy right now and I'm going to be leaving to go to a fair with a friend pretty soon once she gets here. So we will see what happens and uh, yeah, that's about it for this week. I will see you guys Friday at the latest with a new video. So uh, I will see you then.